the magic of the inner voice. So today is all about you. It's all about how to uh, dig into this magic that we are born with. A lot of people um, do not realize how much they are supported. Each and every one of you is supported every minute. And you're supported every minute by your inner voice. You, some people call them my guardian angels talk to me. Some say my higher self. Some say there is an inner voice. Some say, oh, um, it's uh, some sort of inspiration. Call it what you call it. The name is not important. But what is important is that um, you learn the magic of listening to yourself. And I want to share a very simple story, which is actually my own firsthand, um, why what happened to me made me realize the, the crucial need of listening to this voice when it starts to tell you something. And usually when it starts to tell you something, it's uh, doing its best to either warn you or to move you towards the choice that is um, going to be helping you to be the best version of yourself. Uh, I, uh, over the summer, I went to Fiji. I was having a wonderful time, snorkeling on the beach, eating organic food. And uh, it was just like a super holiday. And I still had over a week in this magic place enjoying everything. Nothing happened to annoy me. On the contrary, I was in one of the most magical places. And then I woke up in the morning and I usually, A, when you wake up in the morning, don't be in a rush to leave bed. Just, you know, the magic of opening up your eyes. Because a lot of people rush out of bed and uh, as a result, the day spirals into something uh, that is not helping you. And I woke up and in those few hours that I'm waking up and I had a good dream, I slept well, and usually I start with gratitude. I always start with the gratitude of receiving a new day. And I go through the order of the day, like the magic. And I always uh, speak to the creator or speak to that beautiful spirit in, in, in the universe and say, um, today I'm going to have a magical day and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and everything is going to run smoothly and I call it the order of the day. And then I say, and I know you've heard me, but I'd like you to always um, put something that I did not expect that is so pleasant and that I did not create. And it usually happens. Now, on that particular day, I woke up and the first overwhelming thought was, I wish I was in bed at home in Dubai. And it, it was not just a thought, it was a thought and a very strong feeling. There was a desire that Somehow my body wanted to wake up at home in my bed in Dubai. And I was like, what? I'm in the magic of Fiji and I want to be back. And my vacation is not even over. And I've got over a week, maybe eight, nine days of doing more magical things. And I thought, no, 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 maybe I am... I, I couldn't interpret it, so I brushed it aside. Although it was very strong. And I uh, throughout the day, I remember doing one thing, asking myself, where did, did I get this feeling from? Am I really resenting anything here? And the answer was no. It's something annoying me because I take my feelings and my thoughts seriously. So I tune in because I'm always present moment. You cannot, you cannot do anything to prevent me from this present moment. I always come back and enjoy the present moment in full or live it in full. Happy, annoying, um, tense. I diffuse it. I live it. 
and it's behind me. If it's if it was a tense situation, I deal with it and it's behind me. So I was like, where did I get this from? And where's my gratitude? So I started in gratitude and I started to say gratitude that I can afford such a wonderful holiday. And I'm in this magical surroundings uh, with people who are wonderful and loving. And I continued my day. The following morning, I woke up and that feeling was intensified by 10. It was so strong. Just the minute I opened my eyes, it's just my body felt, oh, I really want to be in my bed in Dubai. And the hospital is across the road. And I was like, what? What? What hospital? What across the road? What Dubai? I'm in Fiji. And then I realized my inner voice and myself is alerting me. So I just sat down and I was like, something is not adding and I need to really listen to this voice. Now we all have this voice, I'm not special, but maybe I train myself and have coached myself to listen to it all the time or most of the times, especially when it counts. But you always get the same voice when you're applying for a job that you hear it's better and uh, it's good for you and they offer you the job and everyone is congratulating you. And then you say, but I'm not taking it. And they say, what? You're not taking it. Why? Well, you're not in a job. Why aren't you taking it? This is a great offer, a great start. You'd say, yes, but something inside here is not comfortable. And you're right. Having turned it down, you then realize it wasn't a good job or a better job came or whatever it is, but it saved you. This inner voice saves you from something. And I also know people who were this far away from getting married one week and they stopped the marriage. And I was like, why did you just decide against it? And um, they said, well, well, one of them, actually, she's my friend. And she said, I felt something is very wrong. And later on, her fears were confirmed. So that inner voice, although she didn't have a single reason why not to marry this person. And they had planned everything and marriage and honeymoon. So I had this feeling. So I told myself here, that's the second day in a row, something is seriously not what it ought to be. So I decided to uh, sit with myself and see how I'm feeling throughout the day. And I started my day wonderful, snorkeling, and then I uh, went to visit a friend. And as I was sitting with my friend, I started to feel my body's not well. But, you know, like ever such a slight feeling of discomfort might be coming down with a cold. Something is not right with me. Maybe I need a bit more sleep. But that's all I, 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 I felt. And then I went to bed and I said, OK, I'm going to speak to my higher self. And I sat down and I or I lay down in bed and I spoke to my hair self. I put the bubble of God's light all around me, as I always do, my protective seals. I uh, said my mantras. And then I said, please show me why I am in need of wanting or feeling, desiring, strong desire to be at home and leave my wonderful vacation. Um, and... I went to sleep and I always do this because if you think your body has not listened, it has, and it does, and it sends you signals. A lot of people come and say, we haven't had anything. We did not feel anything. It's not true. They did, but they have learned to ignore it because we live in what they call a scientific world that everything has to add rationally. Well, what your body's feeling is also science. If they only wire you to a network of uh, a monitor to show what's happening in your head and in your body, you'll be 100% accurate. Now, I woke up in the middle of the night and I felt that I have to, I have to 
be back in Dubai. I don't want to continue this holiday. So I got my answer. So I woke up my husband and he said, what's up? I said, I want to go back home now. <laughs> and I was telling myself, oh my God, I don't know how he's going to react, but I'm going to tell him, please trust me, I have to do this. And I said, universe, if I'm doing the right thing, just make this so smooth. Oh my God. And he was ever the gentleman that I know, know him to be. And he said, if that's how you're genuinely feeling, there is no point in continuing a holiday that you're not enjoying. Are you all right? I said, I know one thing. I need to be back home. So that was 4 a.m. And imagine 4 a.m. He switched the lights on. Got onto the net. And he said, I can change the tickets. Shall I change the tickets? Only going to be a few hours. I said, yes, let's change the tickets. And we did. Now, cutting a long story short, because we were traveling such a long way, and we had a long transit in between, I arrived in Dubai, something like home, 2 a.m., very grateful. But on the plane and in um, during transit, we had to transit through Singapore. I started to feel so ill. I started to cough and the cough was splitting my head and I started deteriorating so quickly that in fact, I don't remember this, but my husband told me the other day, I was wheeling you in a wheelchair. I said, what? He said, you were in a wheelchair in Singapore. And I'm like, I don't remember this. Of course, I don't remember anything. I was hallucinating, I was very ill and I didn't know it. He said, you had to be in a wheelchair, you were, you couldn't draw air, uh, you were so tired. Uh, we took you in a wheelchair to the plane and we were very grateful that they allowed you in. And um, 2 a.m., I was home, went to bed, something like five in the morning, I woke him up and I said, I need the hospital now. I can't breathe. S before 7 a.m., it's not that I was in emergency. I went to emergency. They said I had pneumonia, that uh, I was 39.2 or 0.4 degrees, like I was melting. And um, I was admitted to hospital. And in something like three days time, they discovered that I have something called pseudonymous bacteria. And pseudonymous bacteria is the bacteria that comes in the body and usually goes out. But if it finds a weak place and it found my lungs, goes in and it starts eating that organ, completely shuts it down. Once it's done with that organ, it moves to another organ. And that's what I had. And I did not know I had this. What saved me was my inner voice. Now, this happened at a very um, critical time in the sense that Fiji, they do have hospitals, but they will not have been able to deal with. If they dealt with pneumonia, there is no way they would have known that I have pseudonymous bacteria. So I would have died or I would have been so badly damaged. Second thing, from there, I had to fly to either New Zealand, Australia, the States, or Canada for treatment. And that was the week where, remember, airplanes, uh, there was something wrong with um, Microsoft, and they said something wrong with all the schedules of the planes, and there were no planes, and they stopped the airlines. I would have been stuck there. I started to wake up with this feeling before I had any fever, before I had any serious cough, 
before I had any signs of deterioration on the country. I was snorkeling. I was um, trying new things, meeting people. It was amazing. Any person in their sound mind in such a place would not have left. But any person who's connected to their inner self, who trusts, this is a trust, a trust of the self, a trust of who you are, a trust of what happens to you, would have done exactly what I have done. And the universe served me because the people around me, my husband believed me. I was so genuine. And he should have been irritated, but the universe does things so that because I'm in sync, I'm in like the wavelength of who I am. I'm very honest with how I feel. The universe served me on all levels. A lot of people will say, how do we connect to the higher self? You connect to it all the time. It's that feeling sometimes when you're going somewhere and you feel, I shouldn't go. I shouldn't take the car. And you're always right. And when you don't, you'd say, I wish I had listened to that voice. A, this is one, train yourself to trust yourself. B, you can develop this. And develop this, the most important thing is you're always present with you. Like when I wake up, I don't go and grab my mobile to see what was happening or I don't jump grumpy and because the alarm sounded and I'm in this mood. Never. I am here. I am present. For me, it's my life. I want you, when you open your eyes, to say, this is for me. This is my life. Nothing is going to steal it away or sabotage it. I'm not going to look at my mobile first. No, I'm going to listen to myself. You listen to your body. Your body, your feeling is an excellent indicator of what you're going through. B, monitor your thoughts. So you can tell me, oh, I woke up and I was like thinking of all the people who annoyed me. That's okay. Just say, bless you all. That's not the time. Put them in a bubble. Send them to the sun. And focus on yourself. More would come. That's fine. Put them in another bubble. See them in a balloon. You're holding the string. Cut the string and see them flying away up to the sun. Disappear. And focus on yourself. Monitor your thoughts. When you're driving are you getting feelings that you don't want to take this road ask yourself okay then why don't i take another road are you getting feelings i should not eat this remember when we always say oh i shouldn't have eaten this or i shouldn't eat this and then you get food poisoning this is a common thing now to tune in more i i want this to be practical and I just don't want to keep giving examples. I have so many examples of people I know and some of you here who have told me things that you avoided because you listened to this inner voice. A, presence. B, when you wake up, you first, your feelings and emotions. C, when you get a thought that you normally don't get, under these circumstances, don't brush it aside. D, how do you feel? Do you feel good about this thing? What's your gut feeling, you know? People feel differently in their body. Like some people feel, oh, I'm starting to get a headache and it's here. So something is telling you not to go or not to accept or you don't feel very good in the job interview or you don't feel very good in that going on that date others feel it here oh it's heavy but the majority would say bubbles in my tongue you know like gut feeling have this gut feeling yes because the stomach does have some sort of brain 
So yeah, we do we do think in very with various places of the body. One of my friends, her eyes start twitching, so she knows something is wrong, and so on. Feel your body, be there, monitor the thoughts, and act upon them. This is your the best guide you can ever have. If you feel you're not connecting properly, then remember salt, have a salt bath, put salt um, in your uh, conditioner or shampoo or not shampoo, but in your body wash and wash your body with salt or just put water and put salt and leave it a bit if you can't have a salt bath. Soak your feet in salt bath or ground yourself. Please spend time in nature. The reason I started to feel this so quickly, because I was in nature. I was swimming, snorkeling, um, walking barefoot on the grass. I was hugging trees. I was a lot in nature. Fiji is just nature. So I was so in touch. Nature grounds you. Make sure you're well grounded. A. B. Make sure that um, you are present. Presence. C. Make sure you trust yourself. If you don't trust yourself, ask yourself, why? Why don't I trust myself? Why do I trust someone else to tell me what my life is about? Although I'm the one who's living in this body, feeling all this, listening to all these thoughts, yet I go to someone else to tell me how to live my life and what to trust and what not to trust. I'm sorry, go back to yourself. If you're having this, it means you're having problems in your root chakra. Please go back to my videos, listen to root chakra. If you've got any more questions or you'd like any more help, help contact me in person I'm happy to help you but I cannot make you someone else it is you who's really helping yourself there was no one who could have saved me not even my husband he had no clue what was happening inside of me I had one thought that impression when I woke up first day. When it was repeated the second day, I dropped everything and I said, that's not me. That's something interfering. I hope that you come to alignment with who you are by trusting that voice. Start with something very simple, but every day come back to you and say, I trust myself, I love myself. The easiest way to develop this strength, inner strength is stand in front of the mirror. Give yourself two minutes in front of the mirror and speak to yourself. Look to yourself in the eyes, in the mirror as you're brushing your hair and getting ready and say, I love you, I trust you, I hear you, I am here. I am present and I'm becoming the best version of myself. You are all the time. You just need to act upon.